Good afternoon. You'd think that interesting rock over there would have a clever name, but I don't think it does. So I'm just working on a set of interminable switchbacks going up Tabletop Mountain. And I'm going to break here because I need a rest. Pale Cocoon. Several hundred years in the future, Earth's environment has collapsed. What's left of mankind now lives inside an artificial, windowless world. This is an indifferent society in steady decline. Whole sections of their interior world have been closed off over the years because they couldn't be maintained. The lights are failing. Everyone wears warm, heavy clothing because the environmental controls are failing. This isn't an economic recession, it's a spiritual depression. The expanse of abandoned space is silent testimony to the dwindling population. Even this world's history has been forgotten. This is the universe of Pale Cocoon, a short, one-shot sci-fi anime that tells the story of a society that isn't just stagnant, it's decaying, probably vectored towards extinction. Unu works in the excavation department, a sort of digital archaeologist. A voice from the network of a colleague in the retrieval department periodically sends him fragments of old digital records from long-abandoned archives. Unu painstakingly restores these into text, pictures, sound, or video. He then forwards the results on to the analysis section. When Unu leaves the office, it seems that his is the only occupied workspace in a large office area, a lone area of light in a vast darkness. But Unu is fascinated by things from the past record that he's never seen for himself. He keeps a small electronic scrapbook of his favorite images. A blue sky, clouds, green grass, flowers, animals, a sunset. And he seems to be collecting pieces of text to piece together the past. Unu's friend and colleague, Rika, seems to be the last person left in the analysis department. She doesn't share Unu's enthusiasm for the past. She often skips work altogether. She says people don't like the archives because it reminds them of the unobtainable past and past human stupidity, and that some things are better off not being known. But Unu is undaunted, perhaps the last genuinely curious person alive, or perhaps he's just buried his head in the archive to avoid the dreary reality around him. Whatever, he's pressing on with his recovery of some newly excavated video clips. The basic premise of Pale Cocoon isn't unique. There are plenty of other stories of dystopian societies living in an enclosed space without knowledge of the past or the outside world. Logan's Run, The Star Wars, The Boy and His Dog, City of Ember, and Ergo Proxy all come to mind. But Pale Cocoon has an unusual and dispirited viewpoint and an interesting twist at the end. It's a story that doesn't use action, has very few characters, and only occasional dialogue, but it has a lot of imagery to depress us with its somber mood. The art design in Pale Cocoon is a fascinating blend of bleak new technology, shiny surfaces with bright diffuse lighting, and deep areas of darkness all around. It uses faded colors that just heighten the feeling of depression. A portion of the video takes place on a futuristic display screen as Uno works to piece together the world from bits and pieces of the digital archive. As characters walk through the empty corridors in their heavy clothing, speaking in soft voices, you can feel the darkness encroaching all about them. The animation is all done with computers, and it's impressively natural without showing off. The background music is mostly low-key, with a slight electronic sound to it. A lot of scenes are played out in silence, with only the gentle hum of machinery or the footsteps and breathing of the characters echoing in empty hallways. There's also a single song performance that's integrated into the plot. There are very few characters in Pale Cocoon, and they're all voiced very well in Japanese. Uno is quietly curious, and while he doesn't understand the lack of interest of his two colleagues, he doesn't begrudge them their opinion. Rika and the voice from the archive both sound bored and depressed. I give Pale Cocoon four stars. It's a short, imaginative, futuristic speculation that succeeds in delivering a surprisingly strong emotional response. You can find it currently streaming on Crunchyroll with English subtitles. I tried ordering the DVD from CD Japan, but it's been on back order for almost a year. Thanks for listening.